Hello everyone, this is Cinema. And this is Johannes. And you are watching Board Gaming Ramblings. And welcome back to our top 100 games of all time. This time it's the top 20 to 11, which means there's only two more videos to go on the whole top 100 list. Yes, and this is very exciting because I don't know your list and you don't know mine. No. So I'm very excited to see how many crossovers we do have in this like top area because yes. we have pretty similar tastes, I would I would say, say. yes. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm excited for this. Let's go. You begin. I go begin. ahead. Number yes. twenty thousand. My number twenty thousand. Or twenty. Or twenty. Yes, is you can a game decide. by Stefan Felt. Oh wow! And it's a fairly new game from Stefan Felt. It's Bonfire. Cool. And I'm really looking forward to play the expansion for this game because <laughs> we don't have. It. It's like a running, running joke. If yes. you're the first one you see, go and see the whole thing, and you will be laughing, falling up. Yes, your chair. we promise. It's so well, funny. Uh, expansion aside, though, this is a very solid game. Yes, I both knows. I like the little puzzly aspect of uh, how you choose your actions mm -hmm. and how good that action this is decided to be. Yeah. Um, and also how all the synergies on the board work together. But it's also kind of these small mini games that it, Stefan Felt is very good at yeah. making. And uh, also how it feels kind of like a race to, to the best spots Absolutely. and the most points. I like this. A very, very... A euro we Stefan Feldy game. Yeah, as if he ever makes anything yes. else. And Bonfire is very good. I enjoy it. It's on your list from before, I think. It's lower down on your list. It might be. I don't remember the whole list. Yes. But I do know my number 20. You oh, don't know it? Yes. It's a game. One of the few games I'm very good at. Like consistently good. And I've played it enough to actually see that I'm consistently well, good. I don't recall any games. You just go, like, there's no way there's a game here. But this is one of them, and that is Clans of Caledonia. Oh yeah, this you are very good at this, this game. Is a game. We have played it 15 times, I think I have won 12 or 13 yes, of those you times. Are... And I'm saying yeah. it every time I'm talking about the game. Yes. It is a very, very good game, obviously like based off on Terra Mystica, making that same kind, many of the same things, but it also has uh, trading, it has a fluctuating market, it has uh, contracts, a very just one of those games that for me just has the perfect amount of weight. It's a bit like it's a medium plus games, but it's very easy to teach because 90% of your rules is on your play rate. Play rates play are rate. important, people. Yes. And you're just gonna do an action, and then it's gonna be next player's turn, and you're just gonna continue doing that around the round table. The actions are fairly quick, the actions are fairly simple by themselves. The hard thing is to know the order of the action, the yeah. timing. There's a lot of interaction, there's a lot of timing in, in everything in this game. Fantastic game, which I like. It's one of those games that's kind of like an evergreen for me, which uh, I think like I could have played that every month and I would still like it as much. Yeah, it's a really great game. I love how uh, on like one round you want to squeeze out as many resources that you possibly can mm -hmm. so that you get more, for example, income in your next turn or that you get a contract cheaper than you would later in the game and how you want to spend your your resources on actually utilizing them but you don't want to spend it all because then you, you don't have anything to trade in the market. Mm -hmm. uh, very, very clever game. I like it a lot. Yes, fantastic. My number 19 is like a beast of a game. It's so heavy and it's so little that you do and you kind of get one point during the game and you I think you've had it on your list already. It's Cooper Island. It absolutely is Cooper Island. It, I did have it on my list. Yes. It is a worker placement game with very few workers and you have to be very delicate with which worker places you mm. s set on. You have some workers that are better than others. You um, can upgrade them. Yes, yeah. so you can do some upgraded actions with those and those are very, very powerful. Like it feels very crucial to your game plan. Uh, you have to go for some certain direction to get points in. Maybe you don't end up getting any points. It feels that way for certain, but how you uh, build your, what do you call it, like the, the uh, terrain on yep. your island and 3Ding it to get more resources, how higher up they are in mm -hmm. the terrain very unique to me feels very cool mm -hmm. but the fact that you also have to feed your workers and you don't have like anything oh this game is so tight i love it cannot wait to play it for keeper cult to be able to play it again yes uh, fantastic game absolutely 
And my number 19 is another game uh, from Alexander Pfister. Cool. We already had games from him from, from the other video. So again, if you haven't seen them, you can see them to see all, all the games. This is Great Western Train. Yeah, cool. This is a fantastic game. Uh, like it just a tad bit more than Maracaibo. Uh, very, very good game, uh, especially with the expansion. That we have played. Yes, but only the first edition of the expansion. We haven't played the second edition. And I'm really excited to see what it's going to do with the, uh, the the new ones now. That there's going to be one this year and one next year. That's going to be in different settings. And Ooh. I hope it's going to be like... A, like I hope it's going to be like a brass kind of deal. Like a brass Birmingham, brass Lancashire. Yeah, where a brass kind of deal. Yeah, where it, like it's the same core system, but yeah. it's changed enough that it feels as a yeah, own it feels game. Yeah, like two games. And feel very differently to play. So I'm excited for that. Excited for more Great Western Train. It's just a very smooth, great game of uh, many mechanisms meshed together like Fister is happy to do. Really, really enjoy Great Western Train. I agree. It's so easy to get hung up on the cows in this game. Like... Hung up on the cows. Oh yeah, but it's so easy because you get like a herd of cows, which really are cards of different colors They're in not real hand. cows. Yeah. You know, they're, they're really they cars. They with the game. <laughs> You have to have like a very big space to play this game. Uh, well, but but you, and when you are explaining the game, you're just like, oh, you want to. You're going through this one-way street all all the rounds, and you want to have these different cows in your hand so you get like to the the good stations, mm -hmm. and then you kind of focus on that. But it's very very easy to get like caught in the rabbit hole of cows and don't do anything else in this game. Yeah. Uh, but it's really very very fun though. It I is. I like it. That's why it's on the list. It's on the list. Yes. My number eighteen is a game that you need to be for persons to play. I know the game. Um. It starts. Wildcatters. Yes. I, I didn't wait for you to say it, I'm sorry. Oh, it's your um, But this is one of the high conflict, well, I don't want to say conflict, but interaction, interaction yeah, games no, absolutely. that not really conflict. opened my eyes to interactive games not being direct conflict. Mm -hmm. um, I was very skeptical of this game when we first played it because your, your actions so deeply heavily influences the other players yeah. and what their abilities are to, to do things further in the game and it's really like if I do something positive over here I'm instantly gonna contribute to you like following me yes. and doing something positive so you can't really be like oh I don't want to do anything because yeah. then you can come and leech on me that's yeah. the whole point of the game, that's the game and how you want to be like oh I see you're doing stuff over there mm. now I'm going to place a lot of my trains so you have to go through my trains to uh, like um, a trap no to travel, yes, that's no, correct. Yeah. To send the oil. Send, thank you. The oil out of your, um, my my brain and out words. Out of the place. Out of the place that you've gotten the oil from and deliver it to the refineries. To the place. And there's also some uh, area majority um, in this game as well. Very, very clever. But but you I I think you need to be four to um, have the full experience in this game. It's made for four basically. So when you're playing with three, you need to have one demo player. When you're playing with two, you need to have two demo players. We have played three. It does work. But there's so many other great games for three players that I don't see a need to play it with three. I agree. Mm, my number eighteen is Age of Steam. Oh, cool. This is a fantastic brutal uh, train game. Uh, it's also a game that has a uh, low rule complexity, uh, according to me. It's very easy. <coughs> now that's, so that's easy. not It's a, that's it's a very not it. simple game. It's a very simple, straightforward game, rules-wise, but it's very hard to know what to do and to do it correctly. And uh, this game is infinitely expandable, so many different maps you can play on. Uh, we have the new edition and the old edition, so we have many maps to play. Uh, really enjoyed like we played the moon which is really fun there's so much fun stuff to have been had in a game about laying track and transporting things because in its core it's a pick up and deliver game fantastic stuff so much fun i just want to play it all day long it's Some also days. so much hurt in yes. a game but of laying tracks for trains i think i had this lower on my list already it's a very very solid game my number where are we? 17, 17 yeah. is Awkward Guests. And this is a... 
It's a deduction game. It is. It's not just a social deduction game. No, it's, it's very just, unsocial. It's you will not be speaking. You are to social. People. You actually are speaking a little bit. But I like the theme of this game. It's a murder mystery. Yeah. And you have uh, behind your player screens because you have hidden information. You have this map of the the mansion that the the, the deceased has invited you to, and you have all the rooms and all of the murder potential murder weapons that all are in these rooms. And you have a list of all the guests that are there and you want to trade information with the other players mm -hmm. to get the most valuable information for yourself yeah. and try to be the fastest one to use uh, which one is a murderer and the murder weapon and some other stuff that I don't remember. Stuff. Games. Stuff. Um, I like it a lot. Uh, some rounds of this game can be a little repetitive if people are just trading like the same cards back yes. and forth all the time. You get to a kind of point where it's not much new information coming in. But uh, other than that, I think like it, this is perfection when it comes to deduction games. I really enjoyed both the deduction part and the trading part. My number 17 is Nippon. Did cool. you have this on your list? I think so. Yes. Yes. I'm Fantastic good. Fantastic yeah, game from What's Your Game. Um, Nuno and Paolo. Very, very, very good game. It's a worker removement game yeah. where you want to have workers of the same color, not too many colors, because then you need to pay them more at the end of the shift when you like reset. Very, and the more workers clever. that you get, the better bonus tiles you will be able to claim and make your own scoring. Make your own kind of scoring. It's been too little song lately in board yes. gaming yeah. So I'm going to do a musical number next. That's good. Time. Um, yeah, it's a worker movement where you build your own scoring. It just has a real majority. It has contracts. It has like special abilities. All the things I like in a game. And it's not too heavy. Yes. Fantastic game. We do have the small expansion. Have not played it. No. That's like a common theme for yes, this list. That's and the game. that we like the games. We did like they... them and it's one of my favorite games. Yes, it is. My number 16 is a game that I will forever keep close <laughs> to my heart. This is a chaotic game uh, of uh, one of the funniest game designers oh, yeah. there are out there. It's a Galaxy Trucker. First of all, amazing theme in this game, yes. amazing rulebook, yeah. amazing humor. Vlada Shavadol is like a genius when it comes to these things. Yeah. He's so great. And how you have this cool, unique blend of mechanisms. You're First building your spaceship in real time, grabbing one on one piece and trying to figure out what mm. best parts to have on your spaceship and also being fast. And then you go through like one on one card that simulates the things that happens to you while you're flying your spaceship in space. Uh, which basically means that you're gonna get hit by meteors and pirate ships and sometimes get some cargo but most likely explode and die and get some viruses and stuff. Uh, I love that you're... Um, yes. Um, yeah, perfect. <laughs> I don't have words for this but really um, not like the perfect game mm. but there's so many cool stuff added to this game we have uh, all of the expansions we have the new game as well uh, and it, it just there's so much to love about this game fantastic game absolutely my number 16 is then the uh, biggest heaviest basest game of them all it's arc right yeah this is a four to five hour long experience of having very big headache trying to do something and if you do a mistake you're gonna be spending a time to to do that mistake better if you're like if you are thinking oh it's gonna be good I'm gonna sell a cutlery no problem at all and then someone's gonna be like oh I'm gonna build a cutlery uh, factory and I'm gonna sell those cheaper than you so you're gonna be able to sell two and you're gonna be like yep and I now have a contract saying I'm gonna sell eight of them so I need to do that next round or else I'm gonna lose uh, it's a very tight economical game with very few actions, very hard to get stuff done. So much fun. And so much hurt uh, yes, with this game so. as well. Yes. Headache. Headaches all over the place. For fun. This is one of the games that are so on the line mm. for me how much fun it is and how much work it is. It's just yes. like, oh, I don't see the difference between fun and work anymore. It's and a it board bothers game. me. So it's it, you don't get paid. Yes. So it's 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 fun. It's a little hassle. But an amazing game, absolutely. Yes. 
My number 15 is a worker placement game, uh, one of my favorites. It's Architects of the West Kingdom. Oh, wow. And this is also a game that I'm really looking forward to play again. It's been a long time since we mm -hmm. played it, and we also have some uh, expansions for it that I really want to play. Like, we don't have any expansions. We have expansions for like half of this list. Or more. Or more. Um, but this is a very cool game. You can play it with like a lot of people. Five. <laughs> Five people, yes. but it doesn't so take so much time. People. I think it's like around an hour. Yes, and, and you have these special player powers that makes you focus on some things and and not. Um, yeah, yes. Uh, but I think the cool thing is that which makes this a unique game is that you go to an action space and then your worker stays there and the next time you go to the same action space that action space is better for you and then people can be like oh you have five workers there now you're gonna get infinite of gold I have to stop you and then you can put your people in jail so very very funny game yes it's not very funny it's very, not like, a very, very fun game. Oh, it's not like a very funny very game. Very funny. Ha ha. It's one of the jail. Funny games. Jail. <laughs> I love going to jail. Uh, no, I, I agree. It's a very good game. It's very funny. The next ha. one, we're not. The next one, I'm going to mention the expansion, even though uh, it's kind of sad. Next one is a game we probably will never have the expansion for. Uh, not going to mm. go more into that. It's Madeira. Because two years ago there yeah. was a Kickstarter, and yeah, let's not talk about yes. that. Uh, yeah, Madeira is a fantastic, heavy game where you get to do nothing for two or three hours, and you will get pirates that will kill you and take away all of your points. Yeah, and next you, game. You did have this on your turn. Yeah, it's I did. a dice drafting game, kind of. You draft like three dice and a scoring at the beginning of the game, uh, winning a round, and you need to use those three. It's kind of like a worker placement actually with dice. Is that the game where I forgot there were dice in the game? Yes, I think and you're so. like you take some pirates and you said some very weird things <laughs> it's about just this like, game. I had completely forgotten the dice. They're just like. What? Which is like a huge part of it's the game. It's a very important part of the game. You harvest resources, you spend those resources, you try to get points, try to make these contracts. I really enjoy the fact that you have like a few contracts and you need to do one of them each round. So you need yes. to try to plan like ahead which one of these am I going to do and, and how. And uh, which one is going to do like less. If I can't do anyone good, then who which is going to do which is less, yes. the least worst for me. So I think it's a very fantastic game. Uh, I don't think we have played it for Keep or Tell yet. We have not. So I'm excited for that as well. Cool. I think we, I thought we had. We have so. not. I just saw it oh. uh, earlier today. Oh, upstairs. it's upstairs. That means we still have it uh, <laughs> yes. for Keep or Tell. Yeah. Um, my number 14 has fallen out of the top 10. It hasn't fallen I thought far. you were going to say, like, it's fallen out of the top 100. <laughs> It's Grand Austria Hotel. Uh -huh. It's still a really solid game, which I love a lot. I like the theme of this game. It's uh, strudel and cake and coffee and wine. It's just like, it makes everyone happy. Yes. Uh, I like how you um, roll all the dice and you have like this a common dice pool with different values and that dictates how good the actions for mm -hmm. that round is. And you have this kind of snake draft so that means that i have to try to deduce what the other people will take before it's my turn again but i have to do like the most important thing first but you kind of want to do everything mm -hmm. and it's a combo game yes and you really have to do it in the right order because if you don't have enough rooms open it doesn't really matter that you have the things that make the move pe people makes the moves to the people into the rooms yeah. and and you also want to have the right guests in the right colors for the rooms that you have made and also you want to fi finish off these sections of your hotel mm -hmm. um to to get some bonus points um a lot of lot of fun to be had with this game we have played the expansions yay this is also one of those games that we got before we started getting all the games and before we started reviewing games. Yes. So it is one of the games that we have played 20 plus times. Yes. And it's still a very, very fantastic game, one I enjoy a lot. Next up for me is number 14. Mm. It is Tricarion. Cool. A big, heavy game about being a magician. Uh, sadly, and this like this is so high, even though we haven't really even played the full game. Yeah. We've only played the basic game, and I know that I've heard the full game is like way better. Uh, it's just one of those games that you need to plan, you need to look at what the others are doing, and maybe try to find out what they are planning to do. Because if they plan to do the same thing as you, like buying a specific trick, and they do it quicker than you, 
then you're going to be sad because you're going to be like, yeah, I'm going to buy this trick. And it's like, no, that doesn't exist because I have the trick. Uh, so you are magic performers and it's a worker placement game where you plan your actions uh, in very interesting ways. Just like it, most of Mind Clash games are really, really good. And Dracarion is one of those games that is very good. I, I th yeah, this is a very good game. I've only played the basic game, as you yes. said. I'm very looking forward to playing the full game, but mm -hmm. it's so, like, based on how much time and effort it took with the basic game, you, you really, it's not like, oh, we have a half an hour, let's play to carry on. It needs to be planned in life, and that makes it, uh, it's a little harder for that to happen. But I think uh, if we get more familiar with the game, it's absolutely a, a gem that I will also have in my top of uh, something. Um, 100. Yes. That's what we're doing. I don't think I had it on my list at all. But We do not have the expansions. No, we don't. But I don't think we need it at the pace we're playing this game. That is in. true. That is true. So, but, but it's an amazing game. Mm -hmm. My number 13 is a game by Yuri Rosenberg. It's... A, it's one of my favorite games of Euro. That's it, it's yeah, you know that it's Le Havre. Um, I think how you. Hmm, I don't know how to explain this game because it feels a little weird because it's not worker placement, it but it is. It's a worker placement with one worker. Yeah, but you also have this boat that's moving around. <laughs> what? You have this boat that's moving around. That's just telling which player's turn it is yeah but yeah it is so that's not an action you do you well know. it's a no it's not an action you do but it's a part of the game yes it is you also have cards well i have this association with this game is the boat that dictates how much of the resources there are uh -huh. because it's filling up and filling up and you want to like grab the resources that you want like on the like as fast as you can without there being no resources there because yes so you want to be the fastest to get a lot timing of resources is interesting, yeah time yes. yeah <sighs> yes thank you and it's very interesting how that balance shifts uh, towards the end of the game because mm -hmm. sometimes it's it, in the beginning it's very well like oh it's two fish there i have to grab it now mm -hmm. and at the end of the game it's like 12 fish and nobody wants that fish we're yeah. just like oh we have more important things to do um, and I like that there, um, the game is different each time you play it because of the order that the, um, buildings, the buildings are up, available. Yeah. Because they change up the game quite a bit the That's way cool. when those buildings come yes. out, different resources become available, different things happen. And there's also a huge pile of cards in the game which have different buildings on them which we even haven't touched. So it's a fantastic game. Yes. My number 13 then is a game called Le Havre. Oh, no, really? Yes, oh yes, my god, yes, yes. I got like started. Maximum crossover! Maximum crossover! Boom, boom! Do you want to get maximum crossover? Yeah. Try Le Havre at game number 13 on both of our lists. That's, oh, that's oh, 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 quite oh. cool actually to get like an exact crossover. Yes, I think we had like one earlier as well. Yeah, I think uh, uh, yeah. But, or maybe two. But this is one. I think this we had one. two, but this it's like one. very e early in our... So spoiler if you're seeing it in the oh, wrong I'm order. Sorry. But there is so you can go and look for it like, oh, which game can it be? Okay, but this is this one. So it's back to you. Yes, oh yeah, it's back to because me. Because I already said the things. Yes, that's and true. You said, you the, said things the things and I said the things. About the boat that's moving around. My number 12 is another crossover. It's not exact, but it's a crossover even still. It would be very weird if you knew it was an exact crossover before I said That's my number true, 12. because I don't know yours. Um, Great Western Trail. So yeah. we've already talked about this. So let's do a Amazing mini dance. Do, do, mini do, crossover do, do, dance. Do. Oh, small crossover. Do, 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 do. Okay, <laughs> let's go to my number 12. Yes. It is a game. Oh, crossover. <laughs> do, 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 do. It is a game called Nations. Cool. This is a big great civilization building game that we really love like there's this feel like there's this like through the ages or nations which is the two sides i have played them both you have not played through the ages only in the app only in the app it was only, good in the app though yeah but as it has a bit too much like conflict for me so i think nations is just a perfect the war in there is just friendly warfare still annoying but but more friendly and it's a kind of a worker placement worker statement game like you need the workers yeah. to actually stay on different cards and only have a few of them so you need to like try to place them in the best way possible to get resources to not lose too many resources and um, very very fantastic game 
I would have, I, I don't think we, did we get the expansion? I don't think we did, but that's one I would love to get because it's also one of the games I actually have played quite a few times. Yes, it takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of brain power, but ultimately I just have so much fun playing mm -hmm. it every time. Um, all of the different nations that you can be uh, gives you a little extra uh, like direction to focus yeah. on. But ultimately it's a very, I, I would say, Euro-fied yes. uh, kind of game um, yeah. in this genre. But uh, I think that's why I like it so much. Absolutely fantastic game. My number 11. Oh wow, this is going quick this time. It many is. crossovers. Uh, another game by Stefan Felt is Bora Bora. This is one of his absolute so good. best. It's it's so punishing because you're building up your entire game to achieve something mm -hmm. and then at the like the last round you can have it all taken away and that means like six points 12 points and that's a lot of points in this game a million points but how also your uh, because this is a game with di dice and you place it on some actions and how how tight the actions are because uh, how is it again? If you go with a large number, you get to like choose more, um, um, more things, or get to do more things. But Depending then, on the action, yeah. but you only have to you have to go with a lower number than there already is there, right? Or is it the bigger? I don't know. I, one of them. One of them. I, well, they conflict each other. Yes. So you have to be like, oh, do I want to block something or do I want to do the best, best things? Which ones do I want to do first? Which is most important to me? And it's it's so, so tight all the way, but so good. Mm, it's amazing. I, I'm pretty sure I must have had it on my list. I think so. Uh, it is a wonderful game. So if I didn't have it on my list, shame on me. Shame on you. Then we have the last game actually for this list. This was a quicker one. It was one. Mm, it was one. It yes, was one. it was it a was one. A list. And this is another crossover from this list. So cool. we're coming into crossover land. Yeah. This is Wildcatters. Oh, cool. So, so we it's already a little crossover oh, yeah. dance. Do, 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 do. Mini crossover. Whoop whoop whoop. Whoop whoop whoop. Uh, that crossover. can't be the new thing that we do. Please. I don't know. It is just happening now because I am in that mood. So that is the end of another list. Let us know in the comments what you thought about the games on this list. What you thought about the new crossover. Whoop whoop. whoop, whoop. And all of that stuff. Boom. If you are still here and you have not subscribed, you can do so now by... Clicking the subscribe button. It's fun and, it, and it's free. And oh yeah, it makes us happy like this. And if you want to do something that's not free, you can... Go to patreon.com slash boardgamingramblings and support us there. And that is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Johannes. I'm Cinema. And you've been watching Board Gaming Ramblings and bye bye.